you read some of the stuff on the internet some people will turn this into a tea while it's green and soft welcome tree people thanks for tuning in my name is Gene if this is your first time here and you want to be better at making trees happy then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing hey guys okay so this is a black willow Salix Niagara it's overhanging the Walgreens parking lot the other one over there that's a little farther away is thicker and denser but this is pretty nice it's okay something's really chewing up the leaves there's a lot of chewing insect damage on here see that you can harvest small amounts to this is springtime there's a lot of stuff on the internet about what the right time to harvest it is but you can clip off a little piece here you don't need a whole lot I don't think you need a lot I'm not a naturopath I'm just an arborist but I know that you read some of the stuff on the internet some people will turn this into a tea while it's green and soft some people will put it in vodka or brandy for a couple of weeks to make a tincture while it's green and soft other people want to harden it grind it into a powder my understanding is that there should be plenty of salicin in this i mean a lot of people say harvest it in springtime when the buds have begun to swell but before it's out on, before the leaves are on it you don't have to you're gonna get plenty of what you need just you don't have to go attacking the bark. You don't have to damage the bark with a hammer and chisel or an axe or a hatchet. You can just use a hand pruner to take off a couple of small bits here. And um, like I said, you do what you want with it. As a matter of fact, why not just get it on Amazon and that way you, you know, don't have to harvest it from nature. But it's not that big of a deal to take your hand pruners and take off just a little bit here just harvest you know enough what you need i took some of this uh, a couple years back and i used an old olive jar and after i soaked it in vodka for about a month to make a tincture the whole thing smelled like olives in and i mean i love olives and everything but it wasn't fun so this is a black willow salix nigra i mean you can get the salicin is present in all the willows, white willow, weeping willow, corkscrew willow. Some people say you must harvest the white willow, but you don't You don't have to be picky. You're in the Salix genus, you're going to get salicin. And again, consult your herbalist, your naturopath, your doctor. Definitely don't listen to me. I'm just pointing out a tree that I think is cool and uh, that I think has some cool medicinal healing properties. But... I don't know how much you need for your purposes, but you could take this, dry it out, and probably have a week's worth of tea. You know, discard the rest or put it in your compost pile. That's all you really need right there, I guess. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so I just got home with my little bit of black willow bark that I just clipped off that twig. You know, the thing I didn't mention in my previous video was, that, you know, clipping off one little twig is, I mean, that's less damaging to the tree than all that insect damage that's on the leaves. Anyway, so I'm just going to like, I guess I'm just, I don't know really what I'm doing here or what to do, whether this is right or not, but I figure I'll chop this up to get more surface area. Hey, Dad. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. I'm just chopping up some black willow bark. I'm going to make a little tea. The thing is, I don't really have a headache or a hangover. I don't have any. I'm feeling no pain right now. But anyway, I was going to make a little poultice for a rash that I have on my forearm or a bug bite. But even that's not really bothering me because it's a couple of days old. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to put this into my little tea strainer here. Hey, I want to do a Zoom conference later. Can you help me? I've never done one before. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. It's st starting to... Wait a minute. I think... I think there might be some vegetable oil on this cutting board. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I hear you. Let's see what color it turns before I stop the video. 
if we like immediately get a change of color or not. It's probably going to be green. Green tea. Green black willow tea. Not really seeing any like color seeping out. I think this might have been, I might have, <laughs> I might have severely tainted my experiment by using a cutting board that appears to have a bunch of peanut oil on it or something. Hey, sweetie, what were you doing with this cutting board? What? You got a cutting board out and some oil? You don't remember? You were doing a density experiment according to your mother. All right, well, we'll try it. See how it tastes. Okay, so I've let this steep for five minutes. It's turned ever so pale green. Barely turned any color at all. It wasn't enough. Maybe it wasn't enough. I mean, if I had a raging hangover or headache, I might have harvested more bark, but I expect it to be quite bitter. No, it's too weak to be bitter. It's bitter, but... It's not bad. So, I don't know. This could be my last video. I could be dead by morning. Thanks for tuning in.